Oh my God, no fucking way. We are going to an abandoned abattoir. This is probably one of the darkest locations I've been to in quite a long time. See old egg crates. There's not even enough space for them to fucking move. Think how you'd feel sitting in that. They don't care about their condition and their livelihood. They just care about the produce. Oh my God, so they even actually signposted it's free range and they're fucking lying because they cage them all. I'm just glad that this one is actually abandoned because it's disgusting. It's animal abuse. That's actually really upsetting. What's up guys and welcome back to Katie Colson Explores. Before we start this video, I want to apologize. I'm not my usual bubbly self, but this location is very, very different to what I've normally done and it does deserve a little bit more respect than the average building. Right, before I actually get into this place and start sharing the history with you guys, I want to make it very, very clear this is probably one of the darkest locations I've been to in quite a long time. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a viewer discretion is advised um, because unfortunately we are going to an abandoned abattoir. So today guys, I'm here with Proving Demons and the Explorer Returns. I'm about to meet them. They're just down the path down on my left. So I need to go and speak to them about the history. I will be honest, as I say, this is not a very nice location, but it's one of these places I feel that like is really important to document because of all the dark and just crazy stuff that happened in this facility. Um, and it was an illegal abattoir, but I'm going to get Connor to explain that to you guys a little bit more. On that note, I think it's just get in there because there are neighbors just beside me and I don't want to get caught. So I'm going to see you at the location. Let's roll. Is this it? Now apparently Connor didn't oh even know this God. place was abandoned, but it does have security. You can see the lights are still working. The flashing on the security lights are oh, still yeah. working. Oh yeah, absolute security. So okay. if you try to get in there, the alarms would sound. How? So you didn't know this was here? No, no, I didn't know about this one. Shit. How All many right. how many houses are actually here do you think? Or I, I know about three. And that this is now a fourth. Really? Yeah. And that's just houses. Hang on, you that's said just there's houses. A... There's probably about twenty five buildings. Here. Twenty five yeah, buildings. And the factory, yeah. I remember you saying as well. The factory oh, alone God. is huge, yeah. So is this like just a ghost town out here? Essentially. Yeah. Oh fucking cool. This is the most recent abandoned, I believe. Right. The, the other houses have been abandoned for twenty plus years. That you'll, is you'll absolutely wild. Yeah. Bloody very, hell. Very different in decay as well, mm. between the lot. Yeah. Oh, um, I want to say, right, mate, before we actually get started, um, apparently you're the person to speak to with all the history um, yeah, so on this place. The history the history on this place is um, it's quite it's quite simple to explain because there's not a lot online about it. Um, so this was a local business um, for many years. It's been here a long time uh, for the local village. It was a chicken farm. Um, they used to provide, obviously, eggs. Mm. Um, I do believe that they had a garden centre here as well that used to sell some of the vegetables and stuff oh, at okay. the end. Um, but that's just a greenhouse. Um, yeah. And somewhere in the late 90s, um, the place had been found out to be an illegal abattoir where they were actually slaughtering animals. Oh. Um, obviously, it's meant to be an egg factory, egg farm. Yeah, And obviously, yeah. it was immediately shut down. Everyone was moved out. So that's, um, that's to assume then, if it's an illegal abattoir, that they didn't have any license no. to do this. Yeah. No. So it was under the radar of any food and health yes. safety. Yes. I believe the owners did actually go to prison for this. Really? Yes. Okay. Oh my yeah. God. Is okay. There, is there any evidence left? Of yeah. This? So at the back of the site, there is a separate building um, and it's literally a straightforward building with probably about 25 cages that were obviously not purposely built for chickens. They're oh, cages. Big that's enough awful. for cows, sheep. I'm not sure oh exactly God. what animals they did sort of here, but I know it wasn't chickens. The fact that they yeah. sorted animals at all. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll show you that building at the end. It's, it's at the back of the site, so we'll work our way through. Yeah, but you'll of see that the cages are huge. That's okay. awful. Um, oh my God. Yeah, when I, when we spoke about this place on the phone, obviously I've, I've had yeah. this on pin now for, I'd say it's literally, it's got to be about a year, right? Yeah. I've been putting it off because I just feel like it's one of these places. I think it's got to be handled with like great respect and care Absolutely. because yeah. also it's quite emotional. I'm going to be honest guys. Like obviously you, you both know I'm an animal lover. Okay. Yes. So hearing what happened in places like this, for example, like, well, look, but the owners probably even lived here at one point. We, we, we don't know. We're going to obviously have to unravel the story as we go. Um, it's just disgusting that somebody can actually do that to these animals. And yeah. It would not have been the correct practice. That's the saddest thing of all is it's not going to be done humanely. Let's put it that way. Um, it's all obviously underground kind of like so crime. So it's, it's going to be animal abuse, essentially. Yes. So let's, yeah. let's keep the mood respectful. No, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll do. Right. right. I think we should start start heading off because um, apparently yeah, this is a very, very big site. Jesus Christ, mate, is this abandoned? Yeah. This country manor has got to be easy. What? Oh, Seven early, bed? Early 1900s, for sure. 1900s? Yeah, even though Oh my God. Well, if you look in the windows, guys, there's a shitload of cameras. Look, top bedroom window there, there's a black camera. And just by your head in that window, there's a camera there too. And they're all wired up. It is working. Yeah. So it's abandoned, Jesus. but it's secured. Yeah. And they don't want anyone getting in there. Yeah, no, I'm not going to attempt it, obviously. Look at this solid dining room table in there with a layer of dust on it. Oh my God, 
God, that oh, is beautiful. That is a time capsule. That's a time capsule. Right. Obviously, there's not going to be a way in this place. Um, yeah, there's the camera guys up there on the left. It's definitely working. Um, so I don't think we should try it. Out of respect, I think we should just go to the yeah, the gonna, farm side. We're going to move on. Yeah, I don't want to get caught straight away. All right, so I'm just leaving the driveway where the uh, the main manor is because, like I say, this is a whole estate. Um, you've got the farm side, you've got the caged kind of area, the main slaughter environment, unfortunately, um, a factory and several houses. So it's a very, very, very big site. Um, but I'm going to leave that house behind me because it's got cameras. It's not worth the risk, obviously, trying to get in there and go and find the farm. Right, so we just found one of the first buildings and under here, there's a little staircase just down that bit so i think i don't know if that's a basement or a bunker i'm not actually sure guys so i'm gonna go down there in a minute just to have a look yeah connor and andrew if you're coming through there's asbestos everywhere oh my god this is fucking awful oh okay so it's not it's not actually a house um that's their garden center sorry greenhouse even um so i think the main door it would have been all through that kind of bramble but i'm not going to battle that guys and that's the back garden oh my god this place is really spooky got a right vibe to it you can't go in it's so overgrown you're not gonna get in there at all huh that's the old garden center. yeah it is yeah, yeah yeah it's got like a greenhouse yeah look down there it goes right around the corner as well under this big structure so that's that they've made like their own makeshift bunker that is really really cool um but unfortunately obviously nature has completely reclaimed this so i can't go in there oh Ooh. my god the whole roof's melted and bent it's down to the ground yeah <gasps> oh my god fuck Right, so that's that is the factory, isn't it? Yeah. How the hell do people do this and why do they do it? I don't know, but... That is so dangerous. Right, yeah. guys, so that is the factory that Connor was saying about, but unfortunately, there is no chance of us getting in there. Well, there's no point. Half of it's, half of it's destroyed, so there is that little bit in there, but there's no point, obviously, risking our lives, that kind of thing, but that is such a shame. People are such little fucking that's thugs. That's surprising, aren't they? actually. What a shame. Yeah. You got this. Yeah, I was going to say, what is this beside the factory? Uh, I'm not really like sure. A... I believe this was just somewhere where they kept storage. storage. It's clearly storage. a workshop. I mean, you got a vice. Oh, shit, of course yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. There. Yeah, I can see now. You got a vice there, you got all sorts of tools. Yeah, workman's hat. And you, if you look there, you got oh, the, wow. you see the roof of the other house that was through the trees there. What's that? The roof Bloody of the other, hell, that's the big. Houses. I don't know if my GoPro picked that up, but that is but lush. There's also a bungalow over there somewhere as well. Oh, look, it's a push along um, lawnmower. Mo lawnmower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just bought one of these and they're actually mint. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm kind of in love with that. There's not a lot in there, to be honest. It just me. stinks of fuel. And it, it just, it's trash. Yeah, babe, I wouldn't risk those stairs. Honestly, I, I, I would not risk it. Mm. <laughs> They're pretty sturdy for me, yeah. But to be yeah, fair. No, they, 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 they may look it and they may feel it, but if that place besides been torched and this place, look, all of the tiles and slates are all falling off, I don't think that wood's gonna be necessarily safe. I if you want to do it, you can, but it's down to your own discretion because... Look at the power lines. Look, the power lines have come down. The power lines? The building's collapsed on the power line there. That's where you were just standing. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. That was about here. When oh, you God. Were standing there. You didn't look at Oh, it's just gone. It's sat on the top of the door. Oh, oh. there's a bungalow through here if you want to go and have a look. Bungalow? Yeah, there's a bungalow through there. Might as well. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Hang on, don't let that swing back and hit me. Bear oh. in mind, if you think of it, this is the driveway. This is their driveway? Oh, oh this is yeah. rough. It's a bit overgrown, like. Is it? How bad? Uh, really fucking bad. Okay, hang on, I'm coming for you, hang on. Actually, we can do it, but we're gonna get hurt. Oh shit, okay. Ow. Well, is that an outhouse? Ouch. Oh, you're right, mate. Oh, no, God. that just got me on the neck. Oh God. Yeah, this is oh, this no. is a bit rough. Um, oh my God. What is this? Oh, it's the front gate, okay. Yeah. It's stupidly overgrown. Okay, should we try and find another way? Yeah, let's try and find another way. Okay. Oh, is that the, the bungalow? Way. Over the top? That's, yeah, that's the bungalow. Oh, okay. I'm but sure there's another way. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, Obviously, this is all natural decay, guys, so don't worry with this. Um, is there a house up there? Oh, there's this. No, oh. this is an old barn. Yeah, there's also oh. buildings up here as well. Oh, shit. Right, so that's the back of the workshop that Andrew was just in. These staircases on that side. Um, and we just go up to the back of the factory, and Connor's saying apparently it's really bad. Bloody hell, mate, that is really bad. Except he's not too surprised when he last came here, it was just filled with paperwork from floor to ceiling. Really? Yeah. Shit, when he said the factory, I didn't think it would be this big. When I was originally stood over there, guys, in that little gap, I thought it came to about here, so I didn't realise all of that was an extension of it. Yeah, it's gone down big time. Though. Yeah, it's completely, it's completely trash, isn't it? Yeah, and look what I've just found. Yeah, same here. Fire tape. Yeah, look, it's all across. Fire, Fire do not, dis do not cross. Yeah. Oh shit! So the, yeah, this must have been really recent. See, if you look here, see that roof? Uh, that yeah. would have been the roof of the second floor. Oh, wow. So the wooden bit at the top has melted away and the roof's come down and just planted itself on the ground floor roof. Oh my God, that's so sad. Can you smell that? Oh yeah. I was gonna say, 
It's I can smell it. That that is fresh. Do you yeah. think it's been done within a few weeks? Probably even sooner than that. To be fair, it, could, it wouldn't be surprised if it was last week. Fucking hell! Look at the light. That's metal. Look at it. Yes, yeah, yeah. melted. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna get away from that. Yeah, I was gonna say we should probably stand away because I'm gonna smell fuel as well. The saddest part of this this location is that it's so well hidden. I don't see how people are finding these pins, getting up here and doing this <clears> kind of attack. Um, and it's, it's a sad reality of Urbex um, for all of you watching. Unfortunately, you don't just always rock up to an amazing, pristine time capsule. You're going to get quite a lot of this these days and it's just going to keep happening. It's going to get worse and worse, unfortunately. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you know, it's probably adults. And a lot of people say, oh, it's probably kids. But we, we don't know who and what and why they do it. But it is a thing and it's just a shame that it keeps happening. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've been coming here for years. <laughs> I've been here. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's the first time here, actually. Okay. It's, it's just abandoned, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. About 25 years, yeah. 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 There's all there's yeah. a couple of houses in these bushes. Yeah, all these houses are abandoned. Yeah. Uh, so it used to be a chicken farm, and it was actually found out to be an illegal abattoir in like the 90s so they shot it down obviously and no one's really been here since so well that's just as well then yeah 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 but it's just a waste of area yeah the house around there it's, i think six bedrooms wait it's really grand well, yeah, it's, it gets very posh when you get yeah yeah they're, they're all yeah. empty apart from one so yeah shame take care guys Okay, so the people we just spoke to, they actually haven't ever been here before, so we was telling them a little bit of a history about, you know, obviously what happened. Um, but I'm just about to enter the barn. So this is the first, second barn. I don't really know, guys. This place is so huge. Um, but apparently there is some stuff inside it. You got egg trays. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So a lot, quite a number of them in here Yeah, as I was well. going to say, there's a few on the floor down there. a whole pile there. So obviously this Didn't is... Didn't they stack them in here? This is where they would have kept their eggs in this oh, barn. Wow. So that's why there's so many egg trays everywhere. That's a really weird storage, because I was going to say, well, there's oh. cupboards in the corner and, like, kitchen equipment. How, How strange is that? How long until that collapses? That? Hopefully not. Yeah, that's, that's going to fall. Hopefully I'd, not, I'd no. give it another... Five minutes. I was going to say probably about a couple of weeks. You sneeze, the sneeze and the vibration just rattles. No the sneezing, up, no the sneezing. Okay. <laughs> In the back as well, I can see just that corner. You see, there's loads of more uh, like egg crates, oh, the yeah, red ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What weird place? Just surely they couldn't have kept them in here. They'd all have to no, be like refrigerated or something. Well, I don't know. Well, I'm suspecting that this is probably the right room because there's piles and piles and piles of these egg trays. Maybe this wasn't the main storage, but they at least moved it here at yeah. some point for some reason. Maybe they just stored the containers in here. And that the eggs were like on another part of the farm or something? It could, maybe. I don't to be know. fair, yeah, it's on, really on damp in here, isn't it? And I can't see them like keeping eggs tell. in here because obviously the, the walls, they're going to they're gonna store moisture. So You can tell humidity. it had a 90s modernising thing because look at the fluorescent tube lighting there. Yeah, mm. it's lovely, isn't it? So, and there's also another one here with the bulbs in it. Yeah, yeah, over there. I can see the back left, yeah. Also, there's a very posh cupboard right there. If you yeah. go look at the oh, no, I was going to say, it's dead fancy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but isn't it? If you but come right up. Look at these. It's like a little balcony kind of thing. Oh wow, look, it, it, I thought it was actually just painted on for a minute. No, th these are proper nice, these. Mm -hmm. 3D and everything. I mean, it's a shame some idiots done that, but whatever, what can you do? Well, I was gonna say, actually, oh, there is a wash basin here. So, and they, they, well, they're twins, twin set. So I don't know, maybe they did wash stuff in here. Oh, I have no I'm... idea. I'm just gonna, the, the only thing I can think of, right, is this is a barn, there's, there's no undeniably, you know, we can't, we can't doubt that, okay? I can't see anyone, food and hygiene wise, leaving food products in a place like this. No. Well, like we, down maybe. to food trading and standards, I'm, uh, you, it's got to be refrigerated at unless, certain temperatures. Unless it was clean, or I mean, it's been it's been years. Technically, yeah. this was operating in the last century. Mm, true. So obviously, back then it might have actually been really nice. Yeah. Yeah, they might have been a bit more relaxed back then, but uh, I know these days they would certainly not allow this. <laughs> this would not be a thing, even in good condition. They would. Uh, They'd be telling you it has to be in like a certain temperature and kind of like environment. I say let's open up shop right now. Don't even clean it up. Keep it just like this. Start laying some eggs. I was gonna say who's gonna start let's laying? Do human eggs. Human eggs. Human eggs. Well, I'm the only one here with eggs. <laughs> Fuck, I'm going home, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that pond is filled to the brim. Yeah, it's been a hot summer. Hasn't oh it? yeah, the pond's dried up. Is that? If pond Jesus be, Christ. Uh, no. Heavy rain can save it. No, that's not being saved, mate. No, no, even heavy rain. There's no saving that. 
it's too dry. So when a pond completely dries up, the actual soil itself, it's got no moisture, right? But when it's obviously got a previous moisture in it, it then can surface from, from the top of it, it makes sense, That's you know? That's really sad because there were ducks and stuff on this when I came here in winter. Yeah, it's too dried out and it'll never and be a pond again. Shit in it as well. Yeah, no, I was about to say, there's what is that the in the middle? Over there. I was going to say there's something in the middle. It looks like a little chest, but I don't know. Well, Can you everything. see it? Yeah. That's, no, a, gas that's a gas cylinder. Oh, okay. Sorry, it looked like a little like opening chest kind of thing. I like a pirate's treasure. <laughs> I wish. Oh my god, there's Wait, so no, many buildings. Hang on, hang on. What is it? Is that a coffin? That looks like a coffin almost. It's too big. Oh my god, that's a grave. By the looks of it, is that where they? Is no, that an ornament? Surely that's not a grave. You can is that a grave? It might be. Or it's worth getting over there to see if there's a. Or is that for the like a the mausoleum. building resources? I mean, I, it could be like a water fountain. No. Do you know? I don't know. It looks like a mausoleum. It looks mm. to me. I thought it looked like a coffin. Yeah, that is a uh, that is really it's worth strange. Over there to have a look. Maybe we could get round. No. I don't know. M maybe maybe further down there, but I, yeah. it's pretty overgrown, isn't it? Okay, so we're just starting to make our way down to the farm area, um, and looking at these, these are definitely horse paddocks. Undeniably, a horse paddock. Horse or cow? I think a horse, because the cows, you don't typically have these sort of barn style doors. Okay. They tend to have like gridding. Um, yeah, I'd say, I'd say this is horses. So this might have been like their personal kind of like pets and stuff. You can't really see and it's so dark in there. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Oh, wow. This place isn't going to survive winter, really, is it? Nah, nah. This, this particular structure in front of us might. Look, look over there, look. What the is it? Oh, there's another building over there. Fucking hell, this Where's is big. That Maybe that's the chicken farm bit. Yeah, see, I th I'm pretty sure this is for horses. Do you want to have a look though? What? There's a lot of furniture stored in these. Furniture? Yeah, dresser drawers. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Okay. And bed racks. Yeah, at the it's, back. That's almost, strange. Almost looks like it was... Just used for storage. Or they have... Yeah, but uh, surely these had to have come from somewhere. Do you think they had... Maybe the main house? Workers, the housing... Yeah. I'm not 100% sure, babes. Do you fancy a bath? Fancy a bath? A bath. What? <laughs> that is so fucking cute. Oh my god. That's is that green? Yeah. yeah. yeah that is that's such a vibe. Stone, isn't it? <laughs> that is gorgeous. I would like to go in, but there's cobwebs all down this door. I'm really intrigued to know what's in each stable now. Like yeah, it just, mate, to be honest, I think it's all just like building material. I don't know why. I'll just close that a second. Yeah. Get past. If you prefer a shower. A shower? Oh god, I'm getting the full treatment in here. Oh shit me! Oh wow, I've got the full package. <laughs> I'll give you your privacy. <laughs> I will say for a public footpath, it actually amazes me that there's no warning signs anywhere or yeah. keep out signs. Because it's quite dangerous this area. And the fact that you know health and safety haven't come in and decided to say, hey look, keep out. Yeah, especially with animals and uh, and that sort of like field of um well, that's a well, brand. That's, there's a brand new telegraph pole there. Look how new that is. Is it? Yeah. Oh, uh, see, I don't really know new. too much about all that sort of shit, so I'm glad you said that because I wouldn't have noticed it. That is literally brand new. Yes, this particular bit, guys. I am adamant this is all for horses. Um, I can't see them putting cows on this. Uh, I feel like with cows, they're just going to have like it's because this one, it's got like the V line for like the heads of the horses when they put obviously like you know the head dressings and stuff on it um, and grooming purposes. I feel like cows would have more this kind of style. Um, I could be wrong, guys, but I've lived in the countryside my entire life and I've never seen cows kept in something you know, quite as fancy as this. Right, so we just got to another part of the farm and I believe this would have been, yet again, an animal kind of facility um, or building. And there's a really cool kind of like grain container there. I'm assuming that's probably where they fed the chickens from. I could be wrong, but comment down below if I am. Oh, this is weird. Oh my God, no fucking way. What's that? This was all, this was for the chickens. Oh. <gasps> it's the coops, it's the old coops. Yeah, no, I was right. So these little red things, I'm almost a million percent sure they're either lights or feeders. Or no, no, they, no, they're not fans, they're feeders. Yeah, they're feeders. You put, you put oh, yeah, there's chicken feed. the chicken food in there and then the chickens would have been kept under in, in, in this. That's, yeah. oh God, oh, oh God. There's, there's cobwebs literally everywhere. I don't even know if I can get my camera in there. Oh, it stings. So this module would probably, I hate to admit it, there's probably at least a couple of hundred chickens in this one cage alone. But crammed in it. On the other side as well, the Fuck. right box. Huh? There's another door on the right, which needs oh, some more. No. I'll also say though, that explains 
what the silo was because those pipes connected into the silo outside oh. would spring in chicken yeah. feed they into there, and yeah, they distribute. Would. That's what all these pipings are. Yeah, you're there. right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the that's the main thing. And then it'll have a little sieve in it, and then it will like it will shimmy, and then it'll put it obviously all into into these kind of red containers. Okay, I've just noticed what these are. Do you know what they are? Isn't that where they store the eggs? No, it's worse than that. Where they put the dead ones? No, worse than that. Unfortunately, this grid, they would sit the chickens in these. And shoot it? Nope, and the eggs would roll down the back when they've been laid. They'd roll into that back grid, and they just oh. shut that on them, and they have to sit in that tiny little box, and they can't even turn around. There's not even enough space for them to fucking move. And how many are there? So there's all of these, there's hundreds. hundreds. It goes all the way down the room as far as the eye can see. And these poor animals would have sat in these fucking disgusting containers and that's it. They just lay eggs. Yeah, yep. that was their life. But imagine, think of the size of a chicken, right? And then look at the, the size oh, of yeah, that. you're right, chickens are massive. Yeah. A chicken, yeah, a chicken, a chicken make my hand look small, okay? So I've got no, I haven't, obviously haven't got a chicken to, you know, prove it, but that would have easily touched the rooftop and it just has to sit on that shitty bit of cage. That's actually really upsetting. Yeah, to be honest, walking around here, guys, it's actually really, like, heartbreaking um, and quite uncomforting, knowing that all of these animals were literally abused in here. And I think the sound in here as well would have been absolute carnage. If you imagine the amount of, like, chickens that are, like, squawking and, and, and screeching, it would have been, it would have been sound hell, you know? And standing in this room right now, this has been abandoned for 25 years. And thinking that back in the day, they allowed this kind of practice. To be honest, I think it's disgusting. Oh my God, look at all these bloody modules. This is actually insane. This would have been hundreds. Yeah. Well, if you come here and have a look and we can go in, or might as well go in. Let's talk about this. Okay. This is obviously the alleyway yeah. where they would collect. This is where they collect them from the back. So eggs. yeah, look, they'd roll out from the cages here and they go along and just collect them. But what makes it worse is the fact that what we just saw is actually double. Everything in what? here is double. This, this, side as this, well. is, this is an oh, identical. Oh shit. This might be. This is one building that I didn't know about even. There's more buildings You're like this. You're joking. Like four or five. Yeah, see, I'm going to be honest. The only reason I know about all this is because I'm from the country and I've lived on a farm my whole life. So, I, but we, we don't we don't involve any of this. Like my family and I aren't actually farmers. We just live on farmland. Um, but I can assure you, where I used to live, this shit was not a thing. Okay, so this, this is disgusting. Oh, yeah. Oh no, mate. Oh, no, 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 not a thousand. Yeah, five to ten thousand. Yeah. Five, and there's one building, and there's another yeah. six yeah. buildings like this. Well, if you think about it, so each of these boxes, so one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay, so twenty to a case, and then think about all the oh cases we have probably got in this room alone. But if you look at the bracket, that's each just the bracket. Ones like what about the ones yeah. here? Well, yeah. Thing. The ones so, here, mate, oh. would literally be packed to where, to the, where they yeah. can't move. No, no, no. They, they'd be so. They would literally be cr like crushed against the cage. Crush. They don't care about their condition and their livelihood. They just care about the produce. It's so messed up. The money, yeah. This is why I hate caged like eggs. You know, so why, why do people fucking buy caged eggs? Because yeah. this is the shit. This is the truth. Okay. If you guys go to Tesco's or your fucking Asda's or your supermarket thinking, oh, I'm going to get myself some caged eggs because they're cheaper. Think how you'd feel sitting in that. Would you want to be sat in that? the whole of your life just laying egg after egg with no quality of life, no sunlight, nowhere to run around, just to save yourself a pound coin. Don't do it, okay? Please spend that extra pound because this shit is not okay. Right, so this is the truth of farming, okay? Not necessarily all of it today. Things are changing and obviously new policies are being made, you know, actually, you know, pretty much daily, okay? But real talk, this is what happens, okay? These are where cage hens come from. This is their life, okay? That is, this is the only light that they get, okay? Those, those tiny bar lights up there, that's it. And they're not even on all day because they can't afford to run them, okay? It'll make the place so hot the chickens would actually die um, from heat exhaustion. But this is the truth behind the farming. And it's so sad because once these chickens have outlived their life in these horrible enclosures, they just be killed. And that's it. So as you guys can see now, the severity of this sort of place and why I'm not taking the piss because it's really sad um, and it's real life, you know? I get a lot of people saying with my videos, they're like, oh my God, you, you document such sad stuff and depressing stuff, but it's the real world, you know? Um, we do have a lot of fun. We do the time capsules and all the fun mansions, but sometimes I do like to find places like this to actually put it into perspective, the real meaning of life. And like I say, if you guys could just spend that extra pound to go for, you know, happy free roam hens, please do, because this shit, it can't keep continuing, okay? We're in a new generation, a new century where, you know, I think it's really important that we speak about these kinds of things. And I'm just glad that this one is actually abandoned because it's disgusting. It's animal abuse. Oh, what is that? Is that a slow one? It's a snake. It's a slow one. 
Oh, you're right. Or is it a no, toad? No, that is a snake. It's, it's a, a, it's a, a toad. It's a dead snake. No, it's, oh, it's yeah, a snake. Oh, yeah, no, it's it? a snake. It's a snake. It's a dead it's, snake. It's dead. So that's a snake? Yes. Yeah. No, I'll bring it. Oh, no, 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 don't pick the snake up. What if it's alive? No, look at the mouth open. Look, the mouth come around here, Kelly. Oh, God, what if it's fucking alive? There's the eye. No, it's dead. It's not, it's dead. The mouth's open. Yeah, it's dead. Oh, God. Pools. Fucking, fucking hell. hell. Right, so this was the main um, part of the egg farm, guys. I say that's all hen storage, and on the side here would also be hen storage. Um, and the abattoir, I think, would probably have been one of the warehouses on the other side, because they wouldn't do it in here, obviously, for sanitation and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I think I need to go and find that next bit and uh, truly find out what happened to these animals once they left here. Right, so we're back at the, the barns I first filmed before we went into the chicken farm area and the stables. Um, yeah, babe, to be honest, I think they're just going to be empty shells. Um, this is all horse environment, this... Um, and I think the next bit is around this corner. I found the, the sign for the, for the building and all that. Aww. Like, Do you want to show me? Right. I think you should show me. Look, this is what I find interesting. So we just came out of the, uh, the egg farming bit, right? Yeah. Uh, have a look at that sign there. And what have you found? Free range poultry. Free range poultry? Are yeah. you taking the piss? Well, but, no, Can wonder... you pull that out? Free range poultry is that? Poultry is, is, is chickens. Poultry. I mean, huh. chickens. Yeah, poultry that's that's the chicken. biggest load of shit I've ever seen. Electric fence is free range poultry, and yeah, probably does say sheep. Oh my God, so they even actually signposted it's free range, and they're fucking lying because they cage them all. Oh, I hate people. Look at the size of the nets, oh my God. Yeah, this is to feed something big. Yeah, yeah that is horses. Is it no, horse? this, this would be horses, 100%, yeah. I, I just can't see them putting cattle in, in these sort of buildings. They'd have more of like a like a big barn opposed to yeah, like these tiny paddocks. Illegal, they'd put it somewhere where you're not going to suspect. Yeah, maybe. Now that looks more like a barn or a cow stable to me. Yeah, down there is where that would have been the sort of thing they'd have stored cows in. That. Um, these, on the other hand, would have definitely been sort of horses. They're too fancy to um, to put so many cows in. God, do you know, even for the horses, mm -hmm. which are supposed to be the most loved animals apparently in farm life, even this is shit. They've just got no space to move. This would have been an office because look at the. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is where they would have sat. Oh my god, oh god, this is really dingy. Yeah, no, these would have been offices, wouldn't they? Then again, saying that, would it have been? That There's an electric cool. cupboard in there. Is this a storeroom? Because look at the look at Might the be. Well, yeah. Like animals in it, so then you got these loops. Yeah, the, it's, the, it's full of straw whatever. and hay in here as so well. It, it's probably to get one in a room so you can do maybe but where physicals on it. How how they, oh, they, actually, this might have been for bloody... um. I don't know if I'd necessarily do, do hoofing in here, but yeah, those those hooks on the wall, that's what they would tie like the kind of the headpiece around, like yeah, the lead. You can kind of see on the wall here where there would have been a water thing, connected to the main zone. Yeah, you can just make out the shadow. Where, the, yeah, where it would have let them feed. The lower yeah. bit for those younger horses. And... You guys, don't yeah. be silly. This is clearly the milk room. The milk room? So there's milk there. Oh, got milk, yeah. Milk. I can't believe how thick the we are. The milk room. Oh my God. And the boo-boo the boo room. Boo -boo. Boo -boo. <laughs> in America, boo boo is like slang for shit. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, so it's the shit room. The, shit, the, room. the milky the shit room. The milk and shit room. Shitty milk. <laughs> yeah, this is a cow um, a cow storage, 100%. I'm, I, I can almost stake my life on it. If not, it would have been vehicles. Uh, that's the end of the two things no, I can think of. Cows. Oh my God. Like yeah, it would have been animals. Wood around the whole thing to yeah. Well, also, look at all the straw and hay. Wood here, so no one can see inside, because the bottom of them, you'd be able to see, right? Have they done that so they can't see what's in it? Because look at the oh. gate, even that's got wood over it. Yeah, no, I got you no mean that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, mate, to be honest, I don't actually know. I mean, to be honest with you, though. I, I, they wouldn't typically tend to do that, unless it's for insulation. But why would you insulate something so hot anyway? In here, it's beyond, yeah, it's beyond hot. It's that, muggy that, as that, fuck. It'd be so hot in here with all that metal roof. Yeah, well, all the corrugate as well. The corrugate will act like a, like a window and also magnify and it'll put so much heat into this room. So it's kind of like a greenhouse. Um, so yeah, I don't know why they did wooden board all of this around, unless they're trying to hide something. I'm not actually sure. Oh, cool. It's part of like, yeah. I don't know if it's a digger per se, but no, it's No, um, oh, these, it's these things, it, it turns all the soil in the fields. It turns it all over so that you can put, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, my little country vibes. Um, yeah, these would turn all the soil in the, in the field so you could put like, sow new seeds and stuff. Um, and obviously, yeah, that's a mechanism for one of the tractors or, or a piece of equipment. Right, it's just carried walking down, guys, and uh, we just found another chicken farm. So it's the exact same sort of stylo thing. And if you look through the door, it's the exact same layout as the other one. Um, if I can put the camera. Yeah, there we are. So it's the exact same layout. You've got obviously double-sided, all the cages there. And then obviously in that side of the room is the same same layout. Um, 
yeah i'm not going to go in that one because this one is very very badly decayed um and it's obviously it's got a lot of bramble and stuff um but just i wanted to film it just to put it into perspective all of this land behind us there could be another 10 15 20 modules we just can't get into it because the bramble it's just actually showing us how much abuse happened here and just, just knowing that the amount of abuse that happened on this lot is just it's just disgusting oh my god we just keep finding them honestly they are absolutely everywhere and again down another little weird side path is the exact same thing yeah this one's a bit more uh, uh, convertible yeah 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 you're not wrong about that mate yeah oh my god Literally, I you can't believe how, the amass of how, how much nature can grow because that side's still got technically a roof. Look at the nature, yeah. no, hardly any. Yeah, natural decay is completely that. overtaken. There's trees it. growing. Mm. Don't get me wrong; it, it's sort of it beautiful, kind of but shows. kind of sad. If you want to think of it, if we, if all humans on this earth were to disappear, yeah. thirty years later, that's this what, is life this, after that's us. What, that's that will. That's yeah. Yeah, it's it's insane. But what I find more crazy is the fact that we've only found three or four. But we know for a fact there's probably another 20, 30 modules and we just can't get to them. I was saying to the viewers, because of obviously the bramble, we can't actually yeah. get over to them. Yeah. But think how many chickens were on the site. Too many. Yeah. Each be, of these houses, they were probably, I'd say on average about five to 10,000 in each of these coops, okay? So think about 10,000 times about 20, 30 modules. That's disgusting. Should we do a, should we do a calculation? Yeah, let's do a, yeah, a rough right, so outline. How many are we saying per? Building? I'm gonna say per building between five and ten thousand. So, so what's, do eight thousand? Do eight thousand, yeah. Times by say thirty modules. Two hundred and forty thousand chickens. That's three quarter. Oh, that's a quarter yeah. of a million, essentially. That's mm -hmm. insane. And obviously that, but well, each each um season there have been obviously new batches. So yeah, that's really sad. So about and a million chickens a year. Two hundred and forty thousand chickens would have been slaughtered, been sold to everyone. Yeah. Then they would have got another two hundred and forty thousand. Exactly. They, yeah, probably quarterly. So, so that's about a million chickens a year being killed here. So, and it was operating for about 30 years. Mm -hmm. 30 million chickens. Fucking hell. That's half of the human population. Yeah. In this one farm. That's absolutely disgusting. And if you think of the amount of farms on this in this country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I say all of them. Not Obviously, not everyone's doing this sort of, um, this level of abuse, guys. So please don't think all farms are bad because they're not. Um, but this particular farm, I think it's disgusting. The, uh, the cage the cage industry, shall I say. The free roam, I completely support. But... I'm not surprised it's a band. Yeah. I'm just glad it is. We are stood here, walking across the map. Oh, okay. Right in front of us might actually be what you're looking for. What is that? That big building, it's just up, up there. Like, is um, that the slaughterhouse? It might be. I wouldn't oh know my God. Point, been down this way. So this might be our abattoir then, because we've done all of the land up that path and we've gone all the way around there. Um, obviously we can't get into that field to save a grain. So I think this, yeah, this must be the abattoir. Nope, again, it's, I think it's a chicken farm. You sure it's got a I'm almost it's got adamant. If we go down here, yeah, what's that? Well, yeah, I suppose the main front of the barn is slightly different. Look at the size of this. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, this one's way bigger. Oh, God. They're all just going to be rinse and repeat, so I don't think I'm going to explore the whole thing again because obviously we've just seen this all in the other room. Um, but yeah, as I say, every time we're filming these, um, I'm just putting into perspective actually how bad this was. There are guys, look. It's the old egg crates. Bloody hell. Okay, so that was the one we've just been into. Come around this path all the way up and I've just found a fucking quad. How cool is that? Go on, start her up. Nah, that's not, that's not gonna work, mate. <laughs> if it did, I would I would give you my bank account because it I- It doesn't run petrol, it runs insects. Runs what? Insects. insects. Yeah. The amount of insects in here is enough to power the fucking engine, <laughs> right? What, like wasps and shit? Yeah. As you can see, I've really greased up the old steering, You've done good. steering wheel here. It turns Do you know, Connor, I think I actually suit you. I think you should invest in one. Really? Yeah, I think it's your vibe. Yeah, I, I, yeah. You could go to work on that every day. You'd be all right, yeah. wouldn't you? And there's yeah. space for me and Andrew in the back on your little carrier. Yeah, we have to share look. with the ant's nest. Oh, yeah, here. no, I'd be fine on that. Look, yeah. that's tidy. It's got a little horn as well, look. Oh, <laughs> someone's been and cut my wires again. <laughs> oh, my God, that is so cool. That's where I put my shopping. Oh, you're shopping? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, in the basket. Did you go to Tesco? I saw the basket and put it. <laughs> I think somebody's backed into your car. Oh. Yeah, you're missing, you got a little. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've got a little, tiny no, bit of damage, mate. There. It's a little bit of a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just a little bit. You're still passing them. And you've got, you've got a tiny, tiny little scratch here, oh. I've noticed. So, you know, everything else looks perfect, yeah, but I think you need that. to get yeah, that. It's just that. That's just a joke. Got to get it fixed, mate. Like, yeah, look, the you know, engine come was on. Only put in there last week. Yeah, no, it, it looks brand new. Yeah. I just can't believe that you've, you've, you've just treated it so badly, actually. I'm quite, quite ashamed of you, actually, as a car owner. Well, I said a car, it's a quad in it. Just whilst Connor's modelling the uh, the quad over I'm there, there's it, also so another one. Guys, this is insane. I don't know how much further we can keep walking because we've been walking now for hours um, and it just keeps going. But the only thing I'm concerned about, right, I think that abattoir was in the field that, you know, the one that, uh, with the chicken farm up on top right? I think it was behind it. 
well, that big building that's in the middle the of the yeah. yeah, yeah, the really big building that we couldn't get to. I think that might have been the abattoir. But the only problem is, actually, obviously, it's too overgrown. I don't think we've actually been to this building yet. It's right at the beginning. What's that? This lot here. So, oh no, those were the houses, weren't they? Yeah, that's the houses, yeah. Well, that's a house. Well, people actually live in those, don't they? No, no, no. These are all abandoned. Oh, is that the abandoned side? Oh, okay. There's a house there. There's an odd building there. That's mm. the factory that's now burnt down. Yeah. There's a bungalow there as well. And then we yeah. we went through there, went up here. There's the chicken farm. It could have been that building right, it might have been. right here that we couldn't get to because it was too overgrown. Yeah, yeah. I think, unfortunately, lads, I think that might have been the abattoir. Um, and I don't think we're going to find a way in there today, unfortunately. If we, you know, like I say, if it was easy enough to carry shears, it'd be fine. But obviously we can't because it's against the law. So I don't think even a hedge trimmer would have got us in there. Yeah, to be honest, it's a, a bit dense. Pistol. Yeah, it's just obviously we're all in t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, it's probably not a smart move. I don't really fancy any amputations today. Yeah. All right, guys, we've just been speaking to the lads, and I think unfortunately the abattoir is in the bit that we just can't access. Um, we did have a really good walk around it, but unfortunately the bramble is just so ridiculously high. Even if we had shears, there wouldn't be a way through it. And also to add to it, you can't bring stuff like that to abandoned buildings. So new explorers, if you are watching, don't bring shears, don't bring tools, don't bring even something so simple as moving bushes and plants with little tiny like tools and weapons. Unfortunately, it's considered aggravated trespassing, so just don't do it. Anyway, on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe all links down below so please go and check them out if you haven't already to get the notification bell thank you so much for watching stay tuned i'll catch you shortly bye